Okay, this one again is in standard form, so before I can find what the slope is, I need to convert it to y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to end up with 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 10. I'm going to divide everything by 2. I get y is equal to negative 5 halves x plus 5. I need to now take that equation and look for the negative reciprocal of it, which will be positive 2 over 5x. We don't know what the um, plus b is, so we're going to plug some numbers in there. And I'm going to do in this workspace over here. y is equal to 2 fifths x. Well, my x is 3. I'm trying to find the plus b. And I'm going to change the y to be the y from the ordered pair, which is negative 5. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 divided by 5 is going to just be 6 over 5. Plus b equals negative 5. I can really think about this as being 1 and 1 fifth. So I'm going to subtract 1 and 1 fifth from this. And I end up with negative 6 and 1 fifth equals b. And you could convert that to a decimal if you prefer or leave it as a fraction. Uh, 1 divided by 5. Just double checking myself. Oops. Gives me 0.2. That's what I got. So this is going to be minus 6.2. And that means that these two are perpendicular to each other. This one's going to take a little bit less work. It's almost in y equals mx plus b. We just need to commute these two terms. So I'm going to rewrite this as negative 3x plus 5 equals y. And the perpendicular slope to this is going to end up being y is equal to positive 1 third x. And we don't know the plus b. So this is where we're going to end up with our answer space. I'm going to take this equation and rewrite it over here, plugging in the xy pair from the xy pair that goes with this line. So I get negative 4 for the y is equal to 1 third slope times 2 plus b. I'm going to end up with negative 4 is equal to 2 thirds plus b. To subtract two thirds, and we end up with negative four and two thirds equals b, and two divided by three gives us that point six repeat. So this would be minus four point six repeat. And finally, number 39 is in standard form. So before we can find the slope, we want to get the y isolated and have this in slope intercept form. So I'm going to add the 10x to both sides because it was a negative. We get 2y is equal to 10x plus 8. Divide by 2. And we get y is equal to 5x plus 4. We're going to set up the second equation in our answer space with the negative reciprocal of this slope, which would be negative 1 fifth x. And then we're going to go over here and solve this equation with our numbers plugged in. So negative 3 equals negative 1 fifth times 4 plus b. I'm going to rewrite this. It's a little messy. This is going to end up being negative 3 is equal to negative 4 over 5 plus b. I'm going to add 4 over 5.
4 over 5 is the same as 0.8. So I'm going to take three, the, find the difference between 3 and 0.8, and I get negative 2.2. Running out of room down here, negative 2.2 equals B. So I'm going to subtract 2.2. And that is our solution for number 39.